I think we understand the steward image uh, probably a little bit easier because we all have uh, been employed and we get paid to look after something that belongs to somebody else. But in leadership, this is really what the, the image that God uses. Um, Jesus uses it a lot in his parables. He talks about uh, a ruler, a king, a wealthy person who goes away and he leaves his responsibilities in the hands of those behind him. He is stewards. He gives it to the stewards to take care of. And so the steward looks after something that doesn't belong to himself. He looks after something that belongs to his master, to the one that he's serving. And you know, when we're given leadership responsibilities, that's what God has done. We don't lead things that belong to us. We don't own them. These are God's things that he's entrusted us, and we're given the trust, the stewardship to look after it. You know, he, he entrusts us with many things. Uh, he trusts us with our own lives and with the time that we've given, the opportunities we have, the relationships. He trusts us with the, the Word of God. He trusts us with the, the gospel message to take to, to people who are, are lost and without Christ. And we don't own any of that. It belongs to God. And so he asks us as leaders to be faithful in the way we take care of things that belong to him for his purposes and for his outcome. And so when we're given a responsibility of leadership, it is not for status. It's not for our own well-being. It's not so that we can benefit out of it. It's so that we can take care of something that belongs to God.